In this episode, we look at the story Limestone Caves. Many parts of Jamaica are made up of a rock called limestone. In these places, farmers find it hard to grow anything. This is because the earth on top of the limestone is thin and often has a mineral called bauxite in it. The earth is not very rich for farming and it is only grass that can really grow well. Because of this, many farmers plant grass for their cows on this special kind of land. But cows and grass are not the most important things for which this land is used. The bauxite found on this kind of land is very important to us. Jamaica makes lots of money by selling bauxite to other countries. On this side, we can see a picture with the cows and the pasture here with the grass. And on the other side, we can see the mining equipment that is being used to take out this bauxite. And now it looks red. And in these areas, they would call this red dirt. One of the most important things about limestone is that rainwater can go into the rock and help to break it up. This is why there are always so many spaces in limestone rocks. It takes a very long time, but some of these spaces can get big enough for people to walk into them. The very big spaces in limestone rocks are called caves. There are many caves all over Jamaica. Some are small, but others are so big that they may have a pond. Rivers may even flow through them. The limestone rock in these caves can be very beautiful. Sometimes, caves can be seen on hillsides. Others may run underground. Some people like to go into the caves to look at the beautiful limestone rocks, but others like to walk through them to see how far they go underground. Sometimes going into caves can be dangerous. When it rains, the water quickly passes through the limestone. Then it flows into rivers that run underground. The flow of water in these rivers can be very heavy and even full up the underground caves. What is worse is that some caves only have water in them when it rains. If people do not know this, they can be caught by the water before they can get away. They may drown. So here we have a picture showing the water in one of these underground caves. We can see that the water is very still. How do we know that it's still? Because we can see the reflection of the what rock formations and features that are here. Does anybody know what this is when limestone has this column here. What about this one? Coming from the top and one coming from the bottom. Anybody? Leave it in the comment section below if you can tell what these limestone features are that form from the top of a cave going to the floor and those features that form from the floor going to the top. Here is a story about some people who were caught by water in a cave and drowned. Long ago, there was a tiny woman who could do magical things. She lived at the same time that the Spaniards had come to Jamaica to look for rich minerals. People did not know about bauxite in those days, so the Spaniards were not looking for bauxite. They were looking for gold and precious stones. So they were looking for for like diamonds and rubies and silver and so on. So here we can see the picture of the Taino woman showing the Spaniards. And we can see the difference in the dress, right? We see the helmets, we see the sword. And look at how the Taino is dressed. In our social studies classes, 
we would have heard about these differences before. So she's pointing them to the cave where they can find precious stones and minerals. The Taino woman told some of the Spaniards that she knew where they could find some gold. She said it was in a very special cave and she would take them there. The Spaniards were not very kind to the Tainos, so the Taino woman wanted to trick them. She took the Spaniards to the cave and they followed her far underground. They were very excited. They thought they were going to find precious minerals and become rich. After a while, the Spaniards heard thunder, but they felt safe from the rain because they were in a cave. Then they heard the sound of water, and when they looked for the tiny woman, she had gone. So here we have the picture of the Spaniards and the tiny woman leading them to the cave to look for gold and precious minerals. Suddenly, the water rushed into the cave. Before the Spaniards could get out, the cave was filled with water and they all drowned. The tiny woman knew how to get away and she was safe. So in this picture, we have the Spaniards walking around looking for the precious stones. But water is coming in, okay? And the tiny woman is nowhere to be found. So here we have a picture of the tiny woman outside. We can see that rain had fallen because we have the rainbow. Okay, look at the wonderful uh, scene here. All these trees, nice and lush and everything. People said that the tiny woman had used her magic to make the Spaniards drown. But we think that she must have known a lot about caves. Maybe she knew that when it rained, the water would rush through that special cave. If that is so, she had tricked the Spaniards. She knew that they would drown. Let's think of the link that we can make with our social studies lessons. We have land as a resource. It can be used for farming. It can be used for mining. How do we balance those things? Which is more important? How do we share the use of the land, use of this special resource in such a way that everyone benefits? Now, I'm going to leave two videos in the description box below about the cockpit country, which is a special area in Jamaica that has limestone. And we can look at how people think that the land should be used. All right, take care and I'll see you in the next episode.